welcome to Sunrise Meditations on Ender's Island. Today is Saturday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm Deacon Francis Valier. Our Lexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 21, verses 34 through 36. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times, and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent, and to stand before the Son of Man. In today's Gospel reading according to St. Luke, Jesus lovingly gives us yet another warning. I remember when I was in grade school, the sisters warning me, young man, if you continue to misbehave, you'll be sent to the principal's office. <laughs> Jesus' warning can be quite disturbing. It's almost the same type as the sisters. You better be on your toes, you better be good, or you're in big trouble. Well, like I said, Jesus lovingly warns us. We need to look at this from that perspective and not out of fear. We can all become spiritually drowsy, and not only from carousing and drunkenness. The anxieties of the day that Jesus speaks of can affect us all, whether we are married, single, or a member of the clergy or religious, day-to-day -day chores, our work, our playtime and other worldly activities can absolutely dominate our lives, effectively making us spiritually drowsy. Scripture tells us, and we believe, that Jesus will return someday. But we should worry less about what will happen when he does and pay more attention to how we can answer his call in our lives today. That's what it means to be vigilant, to look for Jesus right here and right now, not to get caught up in what he will do tomorrow, next week, or in the future. Every day is yet another opportunity to stand before the Son of Man. Every day is a fresh chance to come into Jesus' presence. Let him teach us through his word and let him form our hearts. If we stay faithful to him every day, we'll have nothing to fear the day and hour when we stand before him, this time for all eternity. Amen. After our closing prayer, reread the scripture passage and contemplate the message Concentrate on a thought that comes to you, a verse or even a word that touches you, and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. And let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer from Psalm 95. Let us pray. For you, Yahweh is a great God, a king greater than all the gods. In his power are the depths of the earth. The peaks of the mountains are his. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. And the dry land molded by his hands. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day.